Ultimate Guide to Investing in Gold and Silver by Karen Goldman Paper money has always been a popular form of currency, but what is the reason for this? Throughout history, many things have been used as money. From grains and livestock to shells, beads, and spices, humans have always used one of these materials as a means of exchange. As a result, the value of paper money has depreciated in value, while the value of precious metals has remained constant. The guide to investing in gold and silver is a valuable resource that will teach you how to invest in these precious metals. It contains valuable information on how to buy and sell gold and silver. The book is divided into four parts, each dealing with different aspects of the precious metals industry. Maloney explains the difference between fiat money and gold, the economic cycle, and the impact of printing dollars on precious metals. The book is written in English, Spanish, and Chinese, but also offers a translation of the text and the languages of the countries where the authors have spent time. A Guide to Investing in Gold and Silver by is divided into four parts. In Part 1, he explains the differences between fiat and gold and how these affect their prices. The next two sections discuss the history of money and its effects on the price of gold and silver. In Part 3, it covers the basics of currency and the effect of printing dollars on precious metals. The fourth part deals with the differences between gold and silver. As gold and silver prices have declined, the price of them have risen significantly. As a result, the price of these metals has remained high. In addition, the price of commodities and precious metals have remained stable. That means that they can serve as an insurance against inflation and a way to diversify your portfolio outside of the stock market. It's a safe bet that the next financial crisis will strike sooner rather than later. The main difference between a traditional IRA and a self-directed IRA is the tax treatment. The latter is the most advantageous option because it will not require you to pay taxes on your contributions. Nevertheless, if you choose to open a Roth IRA, you should be aware that your investments will be subject to taxation before they can be withdrawn. It will be more expensive to withdraw money from an IRA, but it will give you the freedom to do it whenever you want. Visit our website at www.karengoldman.com today.